From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy Thursday, I'm student meteorologist Christian Spallone here with a look at your evening CNET forecast. Heading back to this morning and taking a live look over Beaver Stadium, we see around 7 a.m. just a beautiful sunrise coming up uh, behind Mount Nittany or some nice orange and pink clouds out there. Plenty of cirrus clouds, so high clouds in the sky. And putting this in motion, you see sunny skies come out this morning, those high clouds filter through, uh, but then a little bit more filtered sunshine throughout the rest of the day. And it's a little bit thicker of a cloud deck, more stratus clouds beginning to build in. That's the theme throughout more of the afternoon. More clouds throughout the day, and we can see in our current conditions this afternoon, lots of 50 degree readings. So there is some sunshine still hanging out, but more clouds especially across some areas of the state, but your high temperatures creep up into the mid-50s, especially as you get down towards the Pittsburgh metro and uh, the low 50s across the central and northeastern parts of the state. And this is warmer than what we were seeing just 24 hours ago, especially across the east where you're close to 10 degrees warmer than just 24 hours ago, more 5 to 10 degrees warmer across western Pennsylvania. But it's a steady increase in temperatures becoming more mild throughout the week, and that's going to continue as we head into Friday to wrap up the work week. We're seeing temperatures climb significantly by tomorrow. And our radar and satellite, we do see those increased um, cloudy conditions that we saw move in this morning. So they're lingering across the state, and there's more clouds as you make your way up towards the west. We see a big streamer of clouds stretching all the way down to the Gulf Coast and southern Texas. So there's a big feed of moisture here. It all connects to a mature low pressure system back up in the upper Midwest. So this won't be impacting us uh, directly, but we will see some moisture begin to stream um, out of the southern states, and that will impact us as we mark our, make our way into the end of the week and beginning of this weekend with a little bit more of an unsettled pattern. So we'll begin to time it out for you. It's the first chance of showers comes in uh, late tonight and really into uh, the day tomorrow. It should die out as it approaches central Pennsylvania, but it could be a stray shower tomorrow morning. And then temperatures really just go off at this point, um, climbing into the middle to maybe even upper 50s, especially across south central and southeastern Pennsylvania by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. So close to 20 degrees above average in some areas. And then heading into tomorrow night, we see temperatures are going to seasonably mild night Friday night and into Saturday. Next chance for showers comes in sometime Saturday morning where I think that's the best chance for showers we'll see this weekend and plenty of cloudy skies during that time period as well. Your temperature outlook over the next five days showing again that peak in temperatures uh, tomorrow climbing up close to the 60 degree mark here in State College. There could be a few breaks of sun and then slowly beginning to fall back as we head into next week. Maybe um, highs only in the 30s by the time we get to the middle part of next week. And heading out a little bit further past that, looking at the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, especially across the eastern United States, below normal temperatures are expected. So getting out of this warm pattern and maybe into a little bit of a cooler trend by the time we get into the end of next week. So looking at our forecast for tonight, again, 34 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Again, a stray shower possible late, especially across the western portions of the state. And then heading into tomorrow here in State College, again, a very warm, anomalously warm day out there. 57 degrees, again, a scattered shower possible, but it should be mainly dry with even some pokes of sunshine at times. And then your seven-day forecast now for the State College region. Again, that taste of spring tomorrow, but some more unsettled conditions moving in, especially on Saturday, still warm, but then lowering temperatures as we head into the beginning of next week. Some showers possible in the afternoon on Monday. That's before a potentially more significant system on Tuesday where we could see a wintry mix, maybe even um, pure snow at times throughout Tuesday, so we'll keep an eye on that. Looks like it clears out by Valentine's Day on Wednesday and then partly cloudy conditions and drier weather and cooler to wrap up next week. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Christian Spallone. Have a great night.